Hello, so I've been doing a lot of research lately on the Flat Earth, of course, and I stumbled across something huge. It's like a gold mine of archives um, from the Library of Congress. They have this sick website called Chronicling America, I believe. I'm going to put the link in the description below and everybody just needs to see this for themselves. You could type in a keyword and you can search for anything like the Flat Earth. So this is what I did and they have like 200 years of um, archives in their database, something like that. I'll show you the exact dates up here on the screen and Hopefully, I'm going to share these all with you and you can see some of the ones that I found that are super cool that I downloaded. You can actually download them in um, a high resolution from the site, similar to that of the NASA archive. So everybody needs to just go use the internet. I mean, it's endless so you can find out there. I can't even go through all this myself so please people check this out and find anything you can post about it and yes just add to the list that I'm gonna have for you guys today it's actually kind of scary because you could just search for the keyword that you're looking for in these newspapers and you could just see how many pages there's literally hundreds of pages and thousands of results where flat earth is said or flat and earth were used you know in a close enough proximity that they'll show you it sometimes it doesn't really match up to flat earth but like 95 98 percent of the time it matches up with just straight up flat earth and um it really kind of shocked me because well let me just say in the articles they're mentioning flat earth you know mostly in a way that a lot of the times is how they use it today where they'll compare flat earthers with something else that's really outlandish or something that they would don't want you to believe like climate change they don't want you to think that's fake so they'll say climate denier change deniers and the flat earthers and then well in these newspapers from like 19 early 1900s late 1800s they're mentioning flat earth in the same way and they're kind of using it in a really interesting way and I'm going to show you a lot of cool examples so amazing that you could just see all of this here on your computer. Um, just wow, yeah. So another really cool thing is that they're mentioning Zion City a lot and apparently these schools were around still in the early 1900s where they were teaching Flat Earth. So. It's really fucking strange and bizarre that, you know, the media right now is like attacking Flat Earth and just saying it's so fucking crazy, outlandish, you should probably, you know, go back to first grade or you should probably read a science textbook or you should listen to like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Meanwhile, there were schools teaching Flat Earth 100 years ago 
So that's not that long ago. And, you know, they're always saying, like, it's 500 years ago, like, when Columbus sailed the seas. And a lot of people say that they didn't use Columbus to see if the world was a globe or not, or flat or not. And I have proof here that shows you that is not the case. They did use Columbus and his name at least to say to the public in these news articles that he found out the earth wasn't flat because he went around the world with his sailboat and you know us flat earthers we all know that this can easily be answered by just going in a big circle around the continents you could create the same travel you know same circumnavigation as you would on the globe that's imaginary you could just easily sail that flat on the ocean that's always flat in a circle so you don't have to be going around the globe you could just be sailing around the land and that's exactly what he did unfortunately you know, this was a major turning point in people's consciousness where people really believed that the earth was no longer flat. And I think a lot of people really did believe the flat earth for much longer than they want you to know. And it's really interesting that they even have us online because, you know, this is just on such a credible website where how can they deny that Flat Earth should be being talked about in a serious matter when this was a subject that was taught in schools a hundred years ago. Alright, so I really hope you guys check this out for yourselves and just see how many references there are to the flat earth and, you know the ways that they use it to try to brainwash the masses and they successfully did they really really successfully brainwashed you know our parents as parents as parents <laughs> you know great 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 grandparents they were really the ones who were possibly could have been flat earthers if it wasn't silenced in the way that it was. Everyone could have known, but it turns out that we have an evil government who has motives that we don't exactly understand, but we just know that they don't want us to know the truth, and they know that if we do, that they've lost their power. So everybody needs to realize this truth for themselves. You know, everyone, it's going to take a different amount of time, but I can't stress enough how much information is out there that still has yet to be found. And it's just something that is really mind boggling. And yeah, um, please comment, um, feel free to share anything you want to share with me from this huge database that um, I'm going to share with you in the link down below again. And also type in other words, I've been trying out things like gravity or things like heliocentric, geocentric, and things having to do with space, and you'll see, you know, hundreds of results for all of these words. And it's just a really good source of information and a really good way to, you know, stick it to the man, I think. This is, like, a website, the Library of Congress. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not scanning through what you're putting on the internet? Just please, let's expose these fuckers right now. Uh, I'm really just sick of it. I'm done. <laughs> and... I just hope I wake up tomorrow and everyone knows it's flat. Peace guys, please subscribe.